Hello, hello. Okay, so I want to talk about IEP trickery today because it is something that is happening. And if I find that there is an issue, okay, so what I mean by that is if I find that it catches me off guard, that it's even thrown out there, I have to tell you guys, all right, because I'm all about the learning. I'm all about the fact that I learn stuff every single day, and I am completely transparent with that, all right? I'm completely transparent that I'm not perfect. I have, I'm completely transparent that, you know, IEPs are such a puzzle <laughs> at times. Um, oh, my God. I'm, I'm, uh, I was up at four this morning, Dana. <laughs> But I have a call, so I wanted to come on here really quickly because I have a lot to do the next two weeks. And then I'm free to go live, and you guys can learn all summer, okay? So um, my name is Raven Woods. I'm the CEO and founder of Autism Mom Rocks IEP, and I help parents gain the knowledge and the confidence to become the CEO of their IEP meeting. So feel free to share this. Um, if you want to share it into my group, you're welcome to do that as well. And post a one below if it's your first through third time catching me live. Post a two below if it's your, well, if it's your third plus time. All right, if you're an oldie but goodie, right? All right, so we're going to do this really quick. I'm not going to take much of your time. Um, I want to tell you, so in IEP meetings or, you know, what's happening right now is schools are sending parents an email and saying, hey, by the way, you know, your child qualifies for ESY. This is what we're offering. Go ahead and sign the paper. All right. They can't do that. All right. Because that is a predetermination according to IDEA. Okay. So, hi, baby. How are you? Hi, Doralee. Hi, Davina. Hi, Tamara. So you can't predetermine, all right, how do you just send an email to parents and say, hey, your child qualifies for ESY, and see what's happening is parents are like, woohoo, my child qualifies, all right, let me sign the paper. No, uh, no, you respond to the email and you say, um, I'm really glad that my, my child, you know, qualifies for ESY. I already believed that myself. Um, I was going to be approaching it with you if you hadn't already, all right? And then you need to f fulfill that and say, however, you emailing me and saying my child number one qualifies, but that I need to sign a paper so that they can come to ESY and it be whatever it is that you create is a predetermination of, of a placement, number one, because they're being placed somewhere. And then... What about goals? Like, what are they working on? What services are you getting? Is it individualized if they're saying, hey, you qualify for ESY? Go ahead. Here you go. Sign the paper. No, you need to address it back and say, yes, my child does qualify for ESY. Thank you very much for following up with me. However, this is a predetermination. We need to meet and we need to go over my child's IEP data, whatever it is that you want to go over, and create appropriate goals for your child over the summer. Do not let them just throw that at you and because you want ESY so bad, you just take it, okay? Because then they're gonna start doing that over and over and over and over and they're gonna realize that you just put up with it, all right? Because you don't know the laws or whatever it is that they assume that you do or do not know. You don't wanna do that, all right? So that's tip number one. You know I always have more than one tip, guys. Okay, so tip number two, um, a lot of schools um, or even their attorneys will say, oh, there's only three factors that are, or questions, really, that a team must answer in order to see if your child qualifies and that FAPE will be provided. So basically, you know, is there one or more annual goals that address skills um, which need to be basically maintained without interruption, okay, um, for the student's benefit and meaningfulness and the provision of FAPE and it being provided to your child, okay? So question number one, a serious potential for regression of skills beyond a reasonable period of recoupment. Um, so they have to answer that question, you as well, as an equal team member. The second question is the nature or severity of the disability or, number three, critical stages of learning or critical stages or areas of learning, all right? So if there's no goal or area of concern, all right, for ESY services, then it's they're basically saying, oh, you're, we don't have to provide this because basically 
we, we're providing fate because your child doesn't need any of those three things, which is complete bull crap, okay? So as I went over before, there are seven areas, okay, factors to guide a team for a determination of ESY eligibility, okay? So sure, there's questions you need to answer. Sure, there's things you need to address. But the number one, okay, should not be just regression, all right? So it is, regression's one of them, all right? Recoupment is one of them. Regression and recoupment together is a third one. Mastery, all right, to the extent to which the um, student has mastered, okay, the skill, okay, and will their education or programming be interrupted, okay, severity of the disability, successive interruptions, and self-sufficiency and independence, meaning like ADLs, crucial life skills, that sort of thing, that they're, they're not proficient in that, and bottom line, at the end of the day, IDEA states that we need to have our kids be as adaptable and, you know, as proficient and amazing as possible, you know, so that they can be amazing adults. Okay, so for example, you know, self-sufficiency, again, my dog's going to bark, sorry guys, um, successive interruptions, that can be behavior, all right, but that could also go under mastery because behavior could be one of those goals, right? So um, I want you guys to understand that and I want you to, you know, not fall for these emails that are going out to, to parents saying, hey, your child qualifies for ESY, this is our program, it's five weeks, three weeks, whatever it is. And, you know, just sign this paper that you want your child to attend. No, 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 no. Do not sign that. All right? That's like, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm going to come live and talk about this soon. But, you know, that's like the contingency plan and the, you know, virtual learning plan. All right? That they just came out with and parents didn't know that they shouldn't sign it. All right? Or some didn't sign it, but the school just went ahead and implemented it. Question. Hello. Did you guys participate in putting that together, that contingency plan? No! You are equal team members. Stop allowing them to dictate. Same thing with agendas. Did you participate in the agenda? If you didn't, don't follow it. R send an email. I'm not following your agenda because you didn't send your agenda to me and say, hey, go ahead and add things that you want to be, you know, covering and discussing at the IEP meeting. Stop allowing schools. So here's your tip. Stop allowing schools to dictate to you how things are going to run. You are an equal team member, okay? Yes, at the end of the day, in an IEP meeting, if they're like, no, 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 then you have the right to then, you know, they'll have to provide you a PWN. They're called notices of action in some places. Some places don't call them either, which is really not appropriate because they're still called PWNs and notices of action. They have not changed names other than those two, all right? And, you know, you need to make sure that you address these things. Immediately e email them back and say, no, this is a predetermination. You are not allowed to do this. And, yes, my child's going to participate in ESY. And, yes, I agree and want my child to participate in ESY. But you are going to be held accountable for making sure that that's an individualized program for my child because my child's goals, my child's services, my child's disabilities are nothing like any of the other children because just because you're giving ESY for five weeks. No, I'm getting children ESY all summer if that's what they need. If they need five weeks, awesome. That's all they need. But don't ever let them dictate to you. You step up, you be the parent, you advocate, and you let them know that n there's no dictation here. We are a team. We're working together. And you put them in their place. There's your tip of the week. Have a good week. Um, do, yes, I'm actually getting on a call with a client from Massachusetts right now, so I got to go. Um, so yes, Doralee, I do work in Massachusetts. Um, Dana, you're funny. Um, good morning, Raven. Um, I have my second um, IEP in two hours. Oh, gosh, good luck. <laughs> Let me know how it goes. Um, Tamara, I messaged you, girl. Um, and Davina, our district is doing a summer school program for the general population. They typically do not do summer school. Um, they don't have a choice to do ESY, but summer school, I don't really know a whole lot about summer school. But, you know, ESY is required. All right. <clears throat> Online, virtual, or in school. Um, should my son attend ESY versus summer school? My worries will 
he get the services, accommodations, and aid? I don't know because I don't know anything about your son, Davinia, so I'm not sure. I can't answer that question because, you know, if he's he doesn't have a whole lot of disabilities then and he's, say, failing a subject or whatever, then sure, absolutely, if, if you feel like he's going to be proficient and make, make progress in, in the gen ed setting and, you know, with summer school. But, you know, if he has an IEP with accommodations, modifications, you know, goals and so forth, for any reason, it should be ESY. But I, I don't know, because I don't know anything about him. So if you want to set up a discovery call, we can talk about it. But I don't, I don't know. I don't know how to answer that because I'm not sure of your situation. I hope that makes sense. All right, guys. So you're welcome to message me on WhatsApp and we will talk though. Okay, so have a good day, guys, but I wanted you to have that tip because I don't want you to fall for that, and the schools are pulling this all the time, all right? So have a wonderful, wonderful day, and I will talk to you tomorrow, okay? Have a great day, and everybody who is part of my group, so put in the search bar, Autism Mama Rocks IEP group, if you want to join the group, we are going to be doing a Q&A very soon, okay?